All right, round two. <clears throat> Let's see if these fit. These are uh, hooker headers, uh, stainless steel. I uh, forget the part number, but it'll be in the title. <clears throat> this, the, these are uh, going on my 96 Yukon. But the, uh, anybody that knows these headers realizes that they're not supposed to fit my truck. <clears throat> That's only because they're supposed to fit TBI motors. 88 to 95. They're not. They're not supposed to fit the Vortec motors because it doesn't have the EGR valve, uh, the EGR pipe in it. But uh, I'm deleting my EGR, so I don't care. Uh, I will have to weld an extra O2 bung in there because the TBIs only have one upstream O2 sensor. But uh, anyway, I've heard a lot of good stuff about these hooker headers, so I went ahead and got the stainless steel hooker headers for the. 88 to 94 or 95 <clears throat> uh, GMT 400 truck, but they fit the Vortec motors also. Again, you just have to delete your EGR and weld an extra o uh, O2 sensor bung in it. But that's pretty much all the modification you have to do to fit them on the Vortec motor. <clears throat> so, round two, let's see if these are any better. Um, the box is a little worse for the wear, but I blame that on UPS. Um, Everything inside's fine. Nothing came out. These are another thing with the hooker headers. Is they actually give you the gaskets that you need. Um, and bolts. And because these are for a TBI, you, there's actually a modification you're supposed to do to one of the accessory brackets. Uh, supposedly, because it mounts to the manifold on the TBIs. I don't have to worry about that. I'm also not going to use these header bolts. I got those stage 8 header bolts. Um... These gaskets seem of decent quality, but again, I have some Felpro gaskets for it. But, let's get these out and actually look over them. And see the difference between these and uh, those uh, maximizers I had. Alright, looking at these, they're a heck of a lot better than those maximizers that I had. <clears throat> Welds look good. Don't really see anything matter with those. The pipes look to be where they're supposed to be. I don't see any that are really, you know, cocked any one way or the other. But then again, these also don't really have the, you know, expansion spots to, that slide in to the <clears throat> to the flange. So you know, you can't really exactly tell where it's supposed to be. But they look to be fine. Also, this is the passenger header. This pipe right here looks to be bent, <clears throat> looks to be bent a heck of a lot more than the uh, maximizers. This pipe right here, that pipe right there, I'm pretty sure is the one that was hitting uh, <clears throat> the upper control arm mount. And so that that one being bent more looks to be where it needs to be. I think these two were fine. I'm pretty sure it's just this one that was hitting, if I go back through and look. So everything seems to be fine. Um, these are also, these are stainless, uh, 304 stainless. Uh, it's a natural finish. It's not polished. It's not sandblasted. It's just the natural 304 stainless. <clears throat> but uh, I did double check it because I looked at them. I was like, that? I don't know. Because there is, the only spot that you see slight rusting is where it got hot from welding. That's the, the only spot that you see some maybe slight surface rust. But everywhere else looks fine. The what the TIG welds look fine. I don't see anything about with the TIG welds. Uh, they're all fully welded on the inside. All the way around. <clears throat> Same thing down in here. Know how well you can see that, or how well that's showing up. That's all fully welded. Don't see anything. Uh, it's the driver's side. Looks fine to me. Also, these bolts look like a he look like they're going to be a heck of a lot easier to get to. Um, there's only one bolt, or this side, this bolt right here, and this bolt right here. Are gonna have to go in looks like at the same time those are the two tightest bolts that I see anywhere all the other ones fit in fine um, again I got the stage 8 locking bolts 
This bend right here is also different uh, from what I remember of what the maximizers look, looked like. Uh, this is the driver's side. But, um, yeah, again, don't really see any issues. Um, they look fine. Uh, so, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to work on it this weekend. I plan on doing something something to the Sonoma this weekend. But uh, in the next weekend, there's a football game. With the weekend after that, I should be in here tinkering, installing these, and then getting the rest of my exhaust done. I will not be using these flanges. Um, you can get a, a, a Y pipe to use these with a TBI. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to cut these off and put uh, V bands on them. But I'm going to fit everything first. <laughs> I'm not going to make any modification to these until uh, you know I make sure they fit, just in case. Um, <clears throat> if these don't fit, then I'm just going to go short tubes. I don't want to go short tubes. I would rather have long tubes because you get more more bang for your buck, but you also get more torque uh, out of the long tubes um, than the uh, short tubes. Short tubes versus uh, stock manifolds, they're almost identical. So there's really no point in spending the money to get short tubes versus the stock manifolds because there's not that much gain like you have with long tubes. Again, to get any performance, really, you're going to have to get a tune to tune it to the exhaust, to tune it to the headers and any other modifications you have. So uh, you might gain a little bit, but you're not going to see any improvements unless you, you get a tune. And then even then, if it's a stock motor, you're still not going to see much. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, hopefully these fit. But uh, first impressions, they look a lot better than those uh, maximizers I had. Um, they just, you didn't know. Makes, makes a difference actually having a name brand. Um, I paid a little bit more for these. I didn't pay much more, though. I think I only paid about 50 to 60 bucks more. The only reason I didn't get these the first time is because I wasn't planning to delete my EGR so soon. <clears throat> um... I planned on this because those maximizers were the only headers for the Vortec motor, 350 Vortec, that had the EGR bung on it that was stainless steel. Um, yeah, obviously, these don't have the EGR on it because uh, on the tube for the driver's side because these are designed for the, the TBI motors. So um, you, you, if you're going to use these on your Vortec, you're going to have to delete the EGR and get it tuned out of your computer. Don't just delete the EGR because there's possibility of burnt valves and everything else. So that's the next thing I'm going to get is a computer so I can <clears throat> not have any problems with that. But rambling, so talk to you later. Bye.